everybody, Lone Wanderer here, bringing you not a quick video this time, uh, showing you how to get 25% uh, bonus XP from Cranberry Relish and Tasty Squirrel Bits. Um, this is definitely new, it used to only be 10%, and since the update it is 25%, and I'm going to show you how to take advantage of this so you can rank up quicker and get your score rank up. Okay, so I've just consumed a tasty squirrel stew, and you can see I'm getting 20% bonus XP. Now that would be 25 bonus XP, but um, I'm not in a team right now, so my strange in numbers perk under Charisma is basically not working. Positive mutation effects are 25% stronger if teammates are mutated too. Now, of course, I'm not in a team, so that's not going to work, right? So that's why it's only at 20%. So make sure you have that on to get the 25% bonus. Um, you're also going to need to have Carnivore on. That's like the whole thing that makes this work now. Before the update, um, Tasty Squirrel Stew and Cranberry Relish would give you 10% bonus XP. It's the Carnivore Serum and the Herbivore Serum that actually makes this go to 25% now. Because as you can see, it says, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, two times benefits. So I think we're getting that times two from 10% plus 5% now from Strange in Numbers. But it's weird, we didn't get 15% bonus with Strange in Numbers before, so I don't know. This is a good little buff from Bethesda, so shout out to Bethesda. Thank you very much, guys, for this. Now, like I said, you if you're going to eat Cranberry Relish, then you need to have Herbivore on to get 25% and Strange in Numbers. So it's a combination of Herbivore and Carnivore and uh, Strange in Numbers, and then you'll get the 25% bonus. And it's pretty much as simple as that, everybody. Now, I'm going to get into this a bit. A couple little tips. Um, when you make these, it, cranberry relish is definitely easier than the squirrel, the tasty squirrel stew. But either way, I would suggest getting one of these coolers if you can. I know there's one in the Atom Shop. Um, I'm not sure if you can just get one in the game. You probably can get some kind of a cooler. And uh, I highly suggest putting them in here like I have because <clears throat> they will last so much longer. I didn't think this fridge was very good at start. But when you put like these cooked foods in there, they last for so much longer. So highly suggest putting them in there if you're not using them. Maybe keep two on you because they do last an hour. Now let's get into how to make these. Now it's, I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to be making a huge guide on how to make cranberry relish or tasty squirrel bits because there's probably lots of guides out there. So I'm just going to run through this really quick actually. So let's start with cranberry relish. Cranberry relish. Of course, you need to have the recipe, of course, and um, <clears throat> it's boiled water, cranberries, gourd, sugar, and wood. Now, both of the uh, recipes take wood, if I'm not mistaken, and boiled water. So those are pretty much self-explanatory. You know, like you you can find wood, I'm sure. I don't need to explain that to you. And boiled water, you pretty much just go to any body of water, collect a bunch of it, and then it'll be dirty water, and then you just bring it back to your um, cooking station here, and you can. Uh, turn it into boiled water. Simple as that. Now with cranberry relish you need gourd and with tasty squirrel bits you need tato. So you can plant both of those at your house. Um, definitely have green thumb on when you pick these at your house that way you won't have to have too many. I only have four <clears throat> and when I pick all of these I'll have eight because I have green thumb on. I'll show you the perk right here green thumb right here. So definitely want to have that on. Reap twice as much when harvesting flora. I guess that counts as crops as well. Vegetables anyway. Um, like I said, uh, gourd will be with cranberry relish and tato will be for tasty squirrel bits. Now let me show you where to get some gourd and um, not sure where to get tato. You might have to look that up. I, I think I know a couple places but I don't want to tell you to go where I'm not 100% sure. But it's not hard. You just type in Tato Fallout 76 on Google, and I'm sure the wiki will tell you two or three really good places to get it. So I apologize for not having a place to show you where to get Tato. But where you get gourd for the cranberry relishes is Rally Clay's Bunker. And you just go there. You'll have to operate a computer to get in, I think. I don't think you need to do a quest as far as I know. Hopefully not. If not, I'm sure it won't be hard to get in there. And then you go into the basement, and there's like these little planters, and there will be gourd down there. There's no point in wearing green thumb for that. Like, you can have it on if you're making it, because you probably need it anyway when you start cooking. 
but um, picking up the gourd in the basement at Rally Clays will not give you double. <clears throat> it needs to be planted or something like that. They're in pots, so I, I guess that makes a difference, which is kind of silly in my opinion. And sugar was another one for cranberry relish I wanted to get into. Um, you can get sugar from Snaptail. Now, if you start, let's say about Flatwoods Lookout or the Overseer's Camp, if you want sugar for your cranberry relish, you're going to go to the river right here, and then you're going to walk down there, and there's going to be tons of Snaptail along the river. And like I said, definitely have Green Thumb on again for that. And then when you get home, I'll show you right here. Can make sugar it's under food and it's pretty much all the way at the bottom and of course you need to have these uh, recipes to do this so sorry if you don't have them but you know you'll get them so sugar it's just snap tail and wood two snap tail and wood very very easy to make sugar and I think that pretty much covers cranberry relish yeah, boiled water, cranberries, gourd, sugar, and wood, you know. Oh, I also wanted to point out where you can get cranberries. I'm sure most of you will be using carnivore um, with uh, tasty squirrel bits. Like I said, if you are making this cranberry relish, you need to uh, make sure you have herbivore on. So, sorry I don't have as much information about the uh, tasty squirrel bits as I do the cranberry relish. I just started making that one opposed to the cranberry relish. But uh, to find cranberries, you go down to the overgrown sundew grove here, and you go into the little pink forest. There's probably um, uh, a random encounter going on in there with two enemies fighting. There's usually, sometimes there's a sheep squatch, sometimes there's super mutants, I've saw ticks, pretty much anything can spawn there. Even the Wendigo Colossus spawns in there if it's nuked. So anyway, that's where you'll get cranberries. Make sure you have green thumb on, you'll get twice as many. And if you don't get enough there, you should be able to get about 10 to 16 there at least with Green Thumb. And if that's not enough for you, you want to make even more, then come to Sunrise Field. And there's um, a Meyer Lurk Queen that'll pop out of a little like swamp trench uh, just behind the farm there. And I uh, would kill her. And then if you go down into the water there into the swamp, you'll find tons of cranberries. There's like another uh, 5 or 6 down there, so you can get a possibility of another 10 or 12. And uh, I think that pretty much covers cranberry relish. Like I said, I, I'm not going to make a huge detailed uh, um, tutorial on how to make these. Because this is just more showing you that you can get this now because it's new. Cranberry relish and tasty squirrel bits have been around forever. So there's tons of guides on how to make these, everybody. Just wanted to bring it to your attention and how to work it. I'm going to run through it again near the end here. But uh, let's go to tasty squirrel stew. So you need to get boiled water, salt, squirrel bits, tato, and wood. Now I already explained the tato. Um, I'm not 100% sure the best places to get it. I got it from my friend's camp, but like I said, just Google it. You'll find tons of tato, and then put it at your house and pick it with green thumb. I suggest about um, three or four at least. Also, you can put a water pump at your house to collect dirty water. It just takes forever. Um, like if you're getting the snap tail, you're right by a river. Just go up to the river and click, 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 click. You'll have tons of uh, dirty water to make boiled water with. So just wanted to point that out again. Make sure you're uh, planting the tato and the um, gourd at your house, just to make things so much easier. Especially with the gourd, because I know it doesn't respawn in Rally Clay's bunker for like 24 hours or something like that. So another thing you needed for the uh, tasty squirrel bits was salt. Now you might be thinking salt is hard to find. I thought it was. I'm like, oh my god, I gotta go find salt for it too. It's actually really easy to find. If you just come to the White Springs Golf Club here and go inside, it's it's like a, a buffet area in there, right? So it's like a dining room type thing. So there's salt on the tables everywhere. There's like five to seven salt in there that you'll be able to find. And it's only one salt. Um, per each tasty squirrel bit. So you can make a good five to seven just from going here. Pretty simple. Now squirrels, squirrels can be tough to find. This is why I say cranberry relish is so much better or so much easier to make than tasty squirrel bits. Um, like I said too, I just started making tasty squirrel bits so um, you might find tasty squirrel bits easier to make which would be cool because I think carnivore is much better than herbivore. Right? And like I said, you have to have carnivore to make tasty squirrel bits hit 25, and strange in numbers, of course. And the same thing 
with um, herbivore making uh, cranberry relish work. Anyway, I just can't embed that in your head enough. I want to make that as clear as possible. So squirrels, also at the golf course. Um, you want to fast travel to the White Springs bunker and then just go above the entrance there. And I usually find about three rabbits and one squirrel. Sometimes there's three squirrels there. And uh, yeah, I haven't even really saw that more than one out of five times. It's usually like one squirrel and three rabbits. But you can also start walking around the golf course. Like not so much in the middle where sentry bots are and all that, but kind of tucked into the forest area behind the houses and stuff, you will find squirrels. Also, just pretty much come into the green area. Pretty much this whole circle that I'm going around right here you will find squirrels. And they're just a little tough to find, you know. You, sometimes you're looking for five minutes to find three, sometimes you're looking for 20 minutes to find one. That's just how it works. That's why I say cranberry relish is so much better. And that's pretty much it, everybody. Um, like I said, a tip too, make sure you put it in the freezer, or the fridge after you make it. You don't want these going bad, because as you can see, they do take a little bit of effort to make. Let me just hop in the cooking station here and make sure I did cover all the stuff. And I'll just go through it again really quick for you. So cranberry relish, boiled water, I explained. Cranberries are at the Grove. Um, gourd, you go to Rally Clay's Bunker, don't forget to plant it. Sugar can be made from Snaptail, which is at the river I showed you near the Overseer's Camp. Wood, self-explanatory. Tasty squirrel bits. Squirrel stew. And uh, salt you find at the golf course on the dining room tables, like I said. Squirrels for the squirrel bits. Um, if I didn't explain that, you get squirrel bits from squirrels. Oh, uh, also when you're collecting the squirrel bits, make sure you have Butcher's Bounty on under Perception, because then you will get twice as much squirrel bits, which is this perk right here. Butcher's Bounty, you're going to want to have that up to level 3 preferably, and then there's an 80% chance that you'll get two squirrel bits opposed to one. And like I said, the squirrels are not easy to find. I think that's pretty much it. Yep, that's pretty much it. And the Tato, like I said, you're going to have to look up on Google. I don't want to speculate and show you a place to go and then me be wrong. I, all I know is that Tato is very easy to find. You're going to be more worried about squirrel bits. And uh, like I said, make sure you have strange in numbers on or you'll only be getting 20% like I have right there. Um, you need to have that strange in numbers on and you need to be in a team. And uh, it's pretty much as simple as that everybody. The hard part is making it. I suggest making about four or five at least if you can. And then you can kind of just go on like a ranking up rampage, you know what I mean? You just take it, you get well rested, maybe Path Enlightenment will come on. And then you just go grind West Tech, the golf course, and the burrows. Those are the three best places that I could suggest to go grind to rank up. And I uh, hope this helps you guys rank up and get through your score uh, ranking ups quicker. <laughs> your legendary run, I should have said. And uh, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care.